Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's I'm off Shuffle and this is my little Warframe video on update 11. I've been playing for a little bit of a while now, so at least I've got the hang of it. So, basically, Warframe update 11, what has it brought us? It's brought us the Valkyr. It's the Berserker Warframe, who's basically the biggest bitch on PMS you have ever seen, okay? Basically, she is so ferocious, she's got so much fury in there, but she has had reasons for this. She was basically tortured quite a lot so she's either the product or possibly even the failure of the Zanuka project so she's got loads of cries as well like tortured cries so as she'll perform actions she'll cry as if she's been tortured which only Warframe that has that I'm just gonna throw that out there she's the second female Warframe whose base stats defy a trend of fragility so she's very fragile but she does have low shields but even though even though with that she has a very high armor value okay she's got in fact she's got the highest out of all the Warframes Okay. Her base values are this. Health is 100, 300 at rank 30. Power 100, 150 at rank 30. Armor 200. Silk, shield capacity of 50, which is 150 at rank 30. Stamina of 150. And polarities, she's got four of the two strikes and two Vs. Okay, so with that, that's the basic ones. Forged in the labs of the Zanuka project, the original Valkor was subject to cruel experiments, leaving her scared, angry, and frighteningly adept at killing. So she's going to be a badass little bitch, okay? So that was the main addition. I mean, we've got some more weaponry as well. As well as new enemies, a new boss. Well, two new bosses, in fact. Three, technically, if you count the Zanuka. And Alad V is two separate ones, but technically they are still one. Um, you've got the trading, which is a trading kiosk inside your dojo which you can just trade with everyone codex and scanner which you scan enemies to unlock entries and details in the codex so you basically build up a portfolio of all the enemies that you've killed and if you can so you remember how to kill them with ease okay and then you've got the basic fixes um like heads being completely invincible so that you can't actually get headshots on the corpus crewmans looking back to your mortal skins are not being tintable uh, tintable sorry so all the little fixes all little bugs have been fixed and they are waiting for us to find brand new ones which I cannot I haven't really come across any bugs myself but who knows weaponry we've got the Tigris which is the Tenno double barrel shotgun which is amazing I believe it's the it's ridiculously powerful and it's very user friendly as well if I was to use shotguns personally I don't use shotguns but if I was this would be the one I would use and then you've got the Sestra which is a corpus minigun so where can you go wrong with a minigun you know what I'm saying Big, beefy, and going to do a lot of damage as your secondary item. And then you've got the Lectra, which is the Corpus Whip. Now, I do believe that this whip was what was used on her when she was being tortured. So she killed the, bear, the son of a bitch who was torturing her and then took it and then started using it on all the enemies in her way. As she was trying to make her escape. Okay. And then when you look at the main, main screen... Everything has changed. It's more user friendly. It's more clean. It's a lot neater and it's just to me It looks beautiful as a first screen that you come to your central hub You've got all your little icons at the top which lead on to separate things, but they all look so So perfect. I believe that was to help with the ps4 launch as well. So basically that's been my kind of Hey, this is Warframe update 11 all in a nutshell. So if you like what you see you can check out the rest but enjoy Warframe and see you out there Tenno